Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to have some fun talking about stonks and how Snowflake might be the biggest threat to Microsoft's business intelligence hegemony. I suspect that many of you have looked at the title of this video and immediately thought that I was just being silly and provocative. And generally speaking, you would be right, as I do enjoy a fair amount of silly and provocation every now and then. However, in this case, even though I do admit that this video was made primarily for fun, there are some solid points that we need to be aware of and that could potentially reshape the business intelligence and analytics industry as we know it. Obviously, if things stay status quo, Snowflake is not in direct competition with the entire spectrum of Power BI's capabilities, although there is some overlap from the cold data storage perspective. I know I'm stretching it a little bit, but if you could think about data flows as a cloud data warehouse, I think it makes sense, at least in some respect. However, as a standalone product, Snowflake probably mostly competes with Microsoft Synapse Analytics uh, than just about any other product in Microsoft portfolio. Now that I hope I have somewhat convinced you that I'm not totally divorced from reality, I would still like to make a claim that Snowflake could be the biggest disruptor in the BI and analytics space, and this is why. Now, we don't need to work very hard to see who Gartner thinks are the biggest competitors to Power BI. All we need to do is to look at the latest magic quadrant for BI and analytics. Tableau and Click are the only remaining players in the leader's corner. Google's Looker cannot seem to ever make it out of Challenger's corner, and SAP deservingly is disappearing faster than the toilet paper in a pandemic. Well, obviously Snowflake is nowhere to be found at all in this diagram, so why am I still talking about it? Well, clearly Snowflake in and of itself is not a big threat for Microsoft, but guess who is? Salesforce with Tableau. And I think that the biggest threat and unfortunate event for Microsoft disruption can occur if and when Snowflake stock price takes a dive so that it becomes an acquisition target for Salesforce. We all know that Salesforce has been on an acquisition spree. It has already acquired Tableau and recently Slack. The only thing that's missing that prevents Salesforce from being a legitimate BI and analytics powerhouse is its lack of data management platform, a void that Snowflake can fill quite easily. Currently, there is only one company in the world with a sophisticated BI, collaboration, and data management capabilities, and that is Microsoft. If Salesforce manages to acquire Snowflake, it will have just as strong of a story, and maybe in some case, with respect to purely analytical cloud workloads, it might be even a stronger story than that of Microsoft. Data management and analytics are a big part of Microsoft's cloud strategy. But let's be honest, it's not the only part. When a customer wants to move its data into cloud environment with Microsoft or Amazon or Google, there are a lot of cloud infrastructure considerations to be made with respect to, let's say in Microsoft case, storage, subscription management, resource group management, and security management. With Snowflake, those considerations are significantly simplified. So I think the case for why Salesforce with Snowflake would be a force to reckon with is pretty self-evident. So the real question is, why does not Salesforce just acquire Snowflake now? Well, the problem is that Snowflake is just way too expensive, sitting at $77 billion of market capitalization, while its trailing 12 months of revenue is less than $500 million. Now, if you look at the revenue growth, you can obviously see that it's pretty healthy. But even though the valuation might be not so crazy on its face value, I do have to ask myself a few questions. In the era of companies moving away from best-in-class technology strategy and towards a platform buy, how can Snowflake sustain this growth before the lack of data visualization capabilities and collaboration becomes a major factor in companies' purchasing decisions? Now, I know this audience is pretty technical, but I think we can suffer through a little bit of financial analysis here. Let's take a look at the valuation and financial metrics for Snowflake. You can see that market cap is roughly $77 billion, where um, Salesforce is sitting at about $220 billion market cap. So on paper, Snowflake looks to be only a third size of Salesforce. Let's take a look at the revenues. So as we look at the trailing 12 months of Salesforce revenues, we see that we are looking at about $20 billion. For Snowflake, the number is a lot more modest. So for Snowflake, the last 12 months are about $489 million. So basically, if you do the multiples on this, market cap for Salesforce is about 10 times bigger than its revenue, 
market cap for Snowflake is about 35 times, check my math, uh, bigger than uh, Snow, uh, Snowflake's revenue. So I would argue that Snowflake's right now market cap is significantly overpriced. And even if you take a look at the summary page here, you will see that the stock is overvalued. Although to be fair, Salesforce uh, stock is uh, overvalued, at least from the Yahoo Finance perspective. But you can clearly see that Snowflake market capitalization and share price is significantly higher in terms of multiples than that of Salesforce. So what happens when a company like that has a bad quarter or two? Is it crazy to speculate that in the air of stunks, one or two bad quarters for Snowflake could negatively impact its stock price, causing an avalanche of disrupting events in our industry? I don't think so. There is a probably a reason why Salesforce.com Inc bought over 2 million shares of Snowflake as recently as November of 2020. And here's an article to prove it. Uh, Salesforce Com Inc buying 2 million shares of Snowflake. I think that Salesforce has its size on Power BI Analytics hegemony, and it is playing a long game to get there. I wish Snowflake nothing but the best. I hope that its revenues and earnings grow at a healthy pace. However, I will keep an eye on this potential development and I hope that Microsoft does too.